Hi, I'm Derek here with Evolution Wheel, and today we are doing testing with our new Backo Tire Series line. We've got our tires on the front and the rear, and we're doing a heat test today. I'm gonna say it now just to jinx it. We haven't gotten an accident or hit any cars. Whoa. I don't think the back is gonna make the turn light. <laughs> oh, there goes my phone. We're gonna put maximum amount of miles we can on today, more than a backhoe would ever do normally in a day. We're gonna run them as fast as we can. Now you can get the speedometer. We're gonna go fast. And it was, there goes my phone again. And we're trying to see if we can max out the heat on these tires or destroy them in the same day. Stay tuned. We're gonna show you all the testing and the results as we're doing it. And uh, if we screw up, it's all on camera. Okay, so today we're doing some testing with our backhoe tires. We've got our tires on the front and rear of this machine. A common problem with uh, solid tires that everybody talks about is heat buildup. Our intention with this project is that we are producing a tire that can go road speed on a backhoe. I haven't seen anybody else produce a tire that they say is okay for road speed. And these machines oftentimes are going, you know, through the city, they're just fourth gear full out. Oh, there goes my phone. Shit. So like I was saying, uh, our goal of this project is to make a set of solid tires to go into a backhoe, fronts and rears, that an operator could road through the city and not break their teeth. You know, I know that other companies make solid tires for backhoes, but I've never seen anybody you know, rode them. I've been on wheel loaders that have had solids on them. It was like, I couldn't get out of that machine fast enough. You know, you couldn't go faster than second gear. And I just felt like every bump in the highway and on the road. And it was, ah, oh, there goes my phone again. Okay, we might need to invent a zip tire or something for that, because that sucks. It's my speedometer. I'm just gonna pull in here. Okay, let's set that up. Whoa. Careful, you're not in a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bingo, zip ties. This machine, it's got like 4,475 hours on it. This is probably the worst of the road on the trip. You can hear that transmission whining because we're going so fast. In theory, with a solid tire, the core holes on the side, they do a couple things. The first is it actually helps cure the rubber. So that's number one. Number two is they compress and they give you some ride comfort. And then the other thing that they do is they shed heat. We did a heat test on a truck mounted forklift. And on that day, it was like 100 degrees and we were on blacktop. That machine was fully loaded. So those tires were compressing, not fully, but as you expected. What we saw with that was that they climbed in heat and then they stabilized and they didn't increase past a certain point. So we expect that we'll see similar results here today. We do have some experience with heat and, uh, and how to kind of get rid of it and different things you can do. We've built that into this product and now we just want to prove it basically. So far we're, we're at four and a half miles and 30 minutes. That kind of gives us like more distance to, to take those readings and allows us to go higher speeds so that we have more opportunity to heat up the tires. Now we're actually on more highway conditions and the road should be a little bit better, but I'm not going to say that it was the smoothest ride I've ever had in my entire life, but we're going 25 miles an hour, so <laughs> I'm okay with that for now. Again, we're still in the testing phase at this point doing this test, so we have opportunity to still make adjustments to our rubber compound, uh, still make adjustments to our coral geometries, all that kind of stuff. If we decide that, you know, we need to improve ride quality, whatever the case is. Going through the streets, you don't get that, uh, that big like back and forth hop that you normally get on a pneumatic on a backhoe. I'm seeing it a little bit here now that we're on highway. We're going uh, 24 mile an hour right now. We're getting a little bit of that hop, but it's not like boom, 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 you know what I mean? Um, so that's definitely one major difference between 
hard tire and a, and a pneumatic. Now we're about to start going downhill. Now you can get the speedometer. We're gonna go fast. 27. Come on, baby, 28. Give me 28. We're taking heat readings in four locations on the tires. The first one's at the very surface of the tread. That's what's contacting the, the pavement. The second one is at the base of the tread, which is kind of like a thicker part of the tire. The third one is at the side of the core. And in theory, that's where, you know, you're gonna see flex and compression. You know, the more flex and compression that the tire has, the more heat energy that it's creating as it's doing that. And then the fourth place that we measure is actually in the very center of the tire. So, you know, the cores come in and then there's there's rubber in between there in the very center of the tire. That rubber has a, the highest movement. Usually that's the highest uh, heat reading that we get. I'm gonna do a heat reading up here. Okay, so we've gone 8.35 miles. Uh, we've been going for 40 minutes. Our top speed was 27 mile an hour. Average speed was 12 mile an hour because you know we we're stopped at lights and stuff. Let's uh, do a heat test and take some heat readings and see what we got. Okay, so first readings on top of the tread, 88.9. Base is 86, outside face. 78.6, got 102 for the inside. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, so we got 100 degrees on the top tread. We got 99 at the base. We got 90, 3.6 on the side, and we got 112 on the inside. Okay, so the tread top is 102. The base is 93. 89 for the side, and 103 for the inside. Okay, so we got 81 on top. 81 on the base, 79 on the side, 104 on the inside. Okay. Okay, we're back on the road, getting back up to top speed. So we were at like max temperature of, I think it was what, 110, 112 uh, on the inside. If we know how hot our tires get from a road perspective and a, and a use perspective, then we can look for if the rubber sample degrades over time. Chances are it won't, but you never know until you test it. Again, that's just kind of validating whether or not the rubber is safe to operate at that temperature. So we're looking for a few things today, not just one. Okay, so we're Basically at the halfway point here, I'm just gonna make a turn and we're gonna go into a little parking lot and take some heat readings. <laughs> I don't think the back was gonna make the turn light, but <laughs> go faster. Total time right now is one hour, 12 minutes and 30 seconds. And we've gone 17.91 miles. Average speed is up to 15 miles an hour. We've been going like 24 mile an hour ever since we did the last test. Let's get out and take some readings. Top of the tread, we're at 90. Base of the tread, we're at 96.8. 85.8 on the side, 122.4 in the middle. We're on the other side. So 104.9 on top, 110 at the base, 100 even on the side. We got 130.5 in the middle. So we got 105.8 on the top. We got 95.4 on the base. 98.6 on the side. We got 125.8 in the middle. We'll call it 101.5 on the top. 
94.6 at the base, 91.2 on the side, and 125.4 at the core. Okay, let's hit the road. Okay, so we're back on the road, and uh, we're working our way back up to top speed. We're at 20 mile an hour, climbing up to 24. I think what was our max max temp there, like 130, 125 ish kind of thing. Seems like seems like things went up by about 10 degrees, roughly. All that plays a factor, but I'm not I'm not going to be convinced that kinetic energy isn't the main thing here. Like. Yeah, you could do it on a hotter day and all that kind of stuff, but the, the energy that is created from the movement in the tires, in my opinion, is more important than if it was on a 20 degree hotter day. So we'll probably do it again that day, but this is where we're at. We'll keep going and we'll just see if that continues to climb or whether it stabilizes. Okay, so we just pulled over um, and we're at one hour, 50 minutes, and we've gone 29.51 miles. Average speed of 16 mile an hour, still top speed of 27 mile an hour. So let's do uh, some heat readings and see where we're at right now. Okay, so we're at 98.8 on the top. And we're at 143 on the inside. We're at 91 on the top. That's still not that crazy hot. No, it's not hot. How are the fronts feeling? All right. It seems like we could go maybe like 10% softer. Yeah. but. I think we'll be okay. Okay, so we just pulled over again. We're at two hours, 20 minutes. We've got 37.18 miles, so let's take some heat readings. 111.6, 138.9 on the inside, 7.9 on top, and 144 in the middle. The, the tread, which is small, is heating up a little bit. It drops the core. Which is going up, but not crazy. And on the rears, we're going up slightly. Okay, well, let's keep going. I've been in a backhoe for a long time. <laughs> uh, we're at two hours, 52 minutes, and we've gone 46.81 miles. Average speed is 16 mile an hour and top speed is still 27. Let's go check out some temperatures. 101.5 on top, 91.2 on the side, 91.4 on the base, 145 on the inside. I'd say we're pretty stable at that, that point. I don't think you're gonna get much hotter than you are right now. Right, we've also gotten 45 miles in a backhoe. Like, that's... that's a little more than what most people do. Definitely gotta make these bigger. Yeah. This is an eye. The reason why I left them small was so we had some room to work with. Yeah, I can yeah, see you it. Can definitely kind of start to see it. The other thing I noticed, the face of the tread is hotter than the base. I think it's because of like we put in some yeah. surface in there to get better traction, but yeah. we might want to close that up. I think for this application, that's not a bad play. Well, let's rip back to the shop. Okay. You got coffees or no? Okay, so uh, we're back on the road and taking a look at the data, we kind of said that the tires have basically stabilized in heat from what we can see anyways. We figure we'll be roughly like 55 miles when we're done. I don't know how many people out there are putting 55 miles on a backhoe in a day, you can kind of tell me. It should be a good test and we'll have another 10 miles of heat data that we can look at when we're done. Of course, cars don't give it to the backhoes. I'll just pull up here. Okay, so total round trip is three hours, 31 minutes, and total distance is 55.32 miles. We did an average of 16 miles per hour, max speed of 28 miles an hour, which I'm kind of happy about. Let's go see what our final temps are and uh, see if we went up or down. 96.3 on the side, 97.9 on the side, 105.4 on top, 101.5 at the base, 96.6 on the side, and uh, ours are 44.79. I found that like a sustained speed 
is probably 20 mile an hour. Um, you know, 15 if it's really bad. You're gonna hit, like, even if you have pneumatics and you're driving in the city, like a backhoe sucks, especially if you got bad roads. So like if I'm sustaining 15 to 20 mile an hour to drive normally, and I'm not trying to hit potholes, and I'm not, you know, I'm trying to drive like I'm not trying to break the machine, I think that's pretty good. You know, I get it that these machines are usually flying, but if you're a decent operator that isn't trying to break the machine, you're not going full out everywhere, especially if you don't have good streets. But like I'm going 22 mile an hour right now, 23, like my foot's into it, we're speeding up. And we got a little bit of that back and forth going, but nothing crazy. And if I see a pothole or I see a, a bump, like take my foot off the gas a little bit, you know? I would tell you right now with the current design and our engineers are gonna kind of review all this data, but like as of right now, we have a rotable backhoe tire. You know, like there's a bump, I slow down. There's another one, I slow down. Like our roads suck. You know, again, I think we'll take a look at some of this data and see do we change anything or not. Um, I suspect we're gonna make some tweaks. But uh, as of right now, I'll tell you, we got a rotable, rotable set of backhoe tires, front and rear. I'm gonna say it now just to jinx it. But we haven't gotten an accident today <laughs> or hit any cars. So I'm pretty happy about that too.